here we have Arnica cordifolia in the Asteraceae family, and you can see it's in flower. Look at how beautiful these flowers are. We have ray flowers and disc flowers. And this plant is growing in central Washington, just on the side of the hill. Normally this time of year, the flower is going to be passed and producing uh, seeds. But at this point, this is a nice little shady area. And so it's maturing a little bit later. So we use Arnica for bruises, bumps, where blood is pooling in an area to help lymphatic fluid to, to move and to bring down inflammation. And if we didn't have the flowers that were ready to harvest, I would harvest the leaves and the roots. And in fact, if I were to harvest this plant, maybe I would take just one or two of these plants and get the flowers, the leaves, and the roots to make um, amazing arnica oil. And now over here, right next door, it's a lovely little friend to the arnica. In fact, you can see it's kind of growing near it here. We have Sicca valerian. So that's not this one, but here, let's go like this. So we have this right here, Valeriana sicensis, one of those wonderful plants that are um, muscle relaxing. And this is a plant that some people will use to help as a sleep aid. But what happens to some people is when we take Valerian in internally, our muscles go so limp, just like limp. I can't even move, but the brain starts moving, 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 and could actually cause some anxiety in people. So, and you don't know which one you are until you take it. So that's kind of uh, the beauty of herbal medicine. You don't really know from person to person what their reaction is going to be. So I always tell people, start out small, take little bits, because once that plant is in you, you're along for the ride. So take tiny amounts when you're first starting out, and I like using the root of this plant to make my oils or my tinctures.